one or another of these Republicans who think the recent election means that they can just have a complete takeover of the country. Now, he's in the running to be the chair of the House Energy Committee, but uh, that seat may be too small to hold his massive ego. With the new Republican majority in the House, uh, we are going to set the conservative agenda for a better America. Speaker Boehner will be the Eisenhower, and Chairman Barton will be the Patton. Hmm, Patton, huh? A guy who apologized to BP is comparing himself to General Patton? Uh, he, he must have gotten confused with all that Nazi rhetoric frying around this election season. Barton's war is against the energy-efficient light bulbs, if you can believe it. He wants to repeal a law that phases out old light bulbs in favor of more environmentally friendly ones. We prohibited, uh, in, a, in a few years, the sale of incandescent light bulbs. The traditional uh, incandescent light bulb, uh, I believe you could get four for $1.99. The little squiggly pigtail ones uh, uh, or one for nine ninety nine. Now, if you're Al Gore, you can afford ten dollars a pop for squiggly pigtailed fluorescent bulbs. But if you're mainstream America, two or three kids, mom and dad working outside the home, uh, uh, that's not a very good deal. What have we done? I think I'll be a great Walmart greeter, don't you? A guy who wants to lead the energy committee should learn something about how energy actually works, don't you think? Now, on average, energy efficient CFL light bulbs cost about three times more than a regular bulb. Let's get this right now. But they last around eight times longer, so you buy a lot fewer of them. And they use about four times less electricity. That's a good thing. So your electric bill goes down. That's another good thing. Now, these squiggly, piggly-tailed whites have got these righties all confused. They actually end up, doggone it, saving you money. Maybe Joe should stop gloating about the election and focus on issues. Because comparing himself to Patton and waging war against green technology, that is dim-witted psycho talk for sure. Coming up, Carol Issa.